Okay, by now you might have a face look that looks like this saying, all of those triangle formulas, when do I use what? How do I know what to do? How do I know which one I want? I don't have a worksheet labeled law of sines, law of cosines, area formula. I just have this test and I don't know what to do. Okay, here's what you should do. First of all, draw a picture and label any given information. Try to make it as accurate as possible. Since we're talking about triangles, hopefully you can find a triangle that will help you answer the question. So there'll be maybe a certain side or an angle of a triangle that will help you answer a question. Sometimes you might need to find, take multiple steps to get to that piece of the triangle that will answer the question. Now, think about that triangle that you've made. Is it a right triangle? If it's a right triangle, then you can use SOHCAHTOA. All you need is an angle and a side, or two sides, and you can find other, any other piece of information in the right triangle because you already know that one of the angles is 90 degrees. If it's not a right triangle, then we need to use our law of sines or law of cosines. So here's the rule of thumb. If you know at least two sides, um, side, 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 or side, angle, side, it's best to use law of cosines to find whatever it is you're looking for. If you know angle, side, angle, or angle, angle, side, it's probably easy, it, then you need to use law of sines. You won't be able to use law of cosines. Now, can you use law of sines with a side angle side? Yes. If you only, if you remember that the angle you're trying to find cannot be obtuse. So, side angle side, I'm going to write law of sines can be used to find a non- obtuse, I should say just acute, can be used to find an acute angle only. So if you know that one of the angles may be obtuse, and that would be the biggest angle in the triangle, don't use it to find the biggest angle. Um, now what about that crazy side side angle or dare I write it, angle side side, oop, nope, better not write that. Um, that one is called the ambiguous case, and that means there may be more than one triangle. May be more than one triangle. And there's a, we'll, we'll stop there as far as more details on that, but it, you can use the law of signs carefully, and there's a video to show you how to do that. Once again, you would want to find um, the in this case, you'd want to find the biggest angle and use both, try both the acute and the obtuse form of it and then see if there are more than one possible triangle. If you use law of cosines, then you also need to use the quadratic formula. So you'll need, you'll want to look up the video on that. But um, now what about area? Okay, so what about area? If we know a side, an angle, and a side, then we're going to say one half times side one times side 2 times sine of the angle. But the angle has to be in between the two sides. So in other words, you know a side, a side, you know like this side and this side and this angle. Now what if you know a side, side, side? If you know a side, 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 you can find an angle and then do this, or use Hero's formula. And if you want to use Hero's formula, then you need to look up that video and look at what Hero's formula is and learn to use that. So that's basically how the, the, the types of things you need to know how to do with our different formulas. So jot this down, and uh, you can scroll back if you need to see the top.